Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is being brought to you as a part of the many things that Pointless creates. For our returning listeners, thank you so much for coming back. And if this is your first episode, welcome, get comfortable, and please keep an open mind. Welcome back. Hi, peoples. That tone, though, you mad hype. <laughs> really? That you was hype. What's up? <laughs> What's up, folk? What's up, folk? So, just like we've been doing, we're going to start it off with Good Gal of the Week. And in honor of the fact that I'm going to be on her show tomorrow, of course, Annie Love is Good Gal this week. Big up, Annie. For those who are unfamiliar, please get familiar. She is a St. Lucian soca artist. Soca artist. Artiste. Yes, um, she has songs like Lick in the Middle and No Gal Can't Take My Man. Listen, I returned to her. Okay? a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> yes, yeah, she TikTok, also has. Her TikToks are funny. Yes, too. her TikToks are hilarious. She also has a swimwear line. Um, mm. Good she's gay. <laughs> Okay. So yeah, all of those things. So big up Annie Love. She's on Instagram and Twitter. It's Annie Love. I'll put the ex like I think there's like underscores somewhere in there, but um I'll put the information in the bio. She also has a radio show every Wednesday called Wild Out. Was it Wild Wednesdays? Mm -hmm. Um, and you can listen to it every other Wednesday on Pure Vibes Radio online. I'll put the information for that in there also. Or you can watch it live on her Instagram. She usually goes live on Instagram when she's recording. And um, I believe it's on Pure Vibes also. And she has another co-host. I'm horrible because I can't remember it. What a girl name. I'm horrible for this. Jesus. Mm -mm. It's on the flyer. Let me look at the flyer. <laughs> right oh tommy for short so it's annie love and tommy for short um that do the wild wednesdays every other wednesday um so yeah i'm gonna be on the show tomorrow well when y'all when this drops it's gonna be today so i'm gonna be on the show june 22nd um and you know y'all should tune in or whatever and listen and watch me do things and whatever um <laughs> i think this um watch me do things you better you better say okay wait don't say it like that <laughs> you gotta say things better than that That's kind of a little, mm -hmm. watch me discuss on the panel because there's a panel discussion that i will be included in so you know come put my little two cents in or whatever pointless talks and all these things um yeah and i think she said this episode is running till 11 o'clock at night so you know, tune in, check it out on Instagram Live, and yeah, good gal of the week. I'm gonna be in the Ray. comments for sure. I'm always in the comments when she be recorded. <laughs> in the up. comments, I'm acting, up. up. acting up. <laughs> I'm thinking if I have permission, I'm probably gonna go live also. So either way, I'll find out and let it be known for sure if I can do that, and we can go from there. Okay. Um. So remember last week how we were talking about how nothing was happening and oh, how it was dead. Yeah, it started to pop up. And then bit. right after that, Beyonce dropped something. <laughs> no, not Beyonce. <laughs> That's all I'm saying about that. I hope y'all got y'all coins together for all the beehive folks. Um, y'all should know better. She drops unexpectedly. Y'all should have like a Beyonce fund at this point because y'all be out here canceling plans because Beyonce came and y'all can't afford it, but. I, neither here nor there <laughs> you know if that's what y'all into yeah that's the only thing that's all i gotta say about that exactly um so something happened today at work and i was just like taken aback because excuse me what so something happened to you no no not to me somebody? overheard a conversation overheard oh, a conversation okay. and you know, I've been working in jewelry for quite some time now. And mm -hmm. this lady legit just said, like, one of my coworkers, she was like, you know, she was talking about an old client or whatever. She's like, oh, yeah, he came in and him and his wife, they look so happy. And they were like, she's like, she just sounded so, like, flabbergasted. She's like, they were so happy. Like, they were really, really happy. Like, they were actually in love with each other. And I was like, uh, mm -hmm. isn't that how it's supposed to be? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. you Niggas they supposed to look like and feel like and act like they're in love with each other? Like what? what she's like, it's just mean? she's just like, it's just rare. You don't usually see that. It's like my first time seeing a couple that actually look like they like really love each other. And I was like I mean, some people have see different things. Like you yeah. might see the love and be like, Oh, I see this all the time. Some people mm -hmm. aren't really accustomed to them kind of things. Yeah, but that's crazy. <laughs> 
Like she said that and she was like, and but she's also been in jewelry forever. So it's like, I know she's seen a bunch of couples come and go, like, especially at our store, because people come in all the time for like engagement rings and like, you know, anniversary gifts and whatever. Like, um, they was happy so, and I'm sure the men were happy. Half of them wasn't happy to bring them bitches in there. <laughs> The men that come in the flex are the most hilarious ones, but that's another story. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, look, 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 I'm doing this, but they really just come in and get their jewelry cleaned. Like what? Wow. You're not even buying nothing. That shit happens so much. I've never like yo, heard of that. they do that. Yo, yeah. I'm in here. That's well, we do free jewelry cleaning. I don't know if it's for a lifetime or just for like a year, like the first year. But either way, you get free jewelry cleaning at some point. And they be coming in with like you know they little groupies or whatever, trying to act like woo woo woo. And I'm like, okay, Ooh. shout out to you. <laughs> and then, like, y'all wasting salespeople time just, like, standing around and looking at jewelry that you're not going to buy, only to be like, oh, by the way, bro, let me uh, let me drop this off for a cleaning. Wow. Excuse me? That's or they're coming f- or they're coming to pick up their jewelry that they dropped off and making it look like they just got something. And it's like, y'all are lame. Like <laughs> that is tacky as hell. Yeah. Listen, don't carry me in no jewelry store if you're not buying me no jewelry. Don't do it. Like, what are we doing? Unless we're planning for something together, like, oh, we're planning on doing XYZ and we're gonna get some jewelry. Sure, but you just bring me in just to show me shit. I know what a jewelry store look like. Like <laughs> anyways. <laughs> Nothing. You, you can't <laughs> I can't bring you there just to see what you might like so I can then know what to get you. Send me pictures. That's why I don't take your hoes nowhere. That's exactly <laughs> man say let's go to the jewelry store nah he was flexing there's a difference if you're trying to like plan for something like i said (laughs) yeah but you're over here talking but at in the same mouth you were saying don't take me to no jewelry store i know what it looked like yes if if you're not trying to show not gonna tell you why you're going they're gonna Mm. be like come with me to the jewelry store real quick i don't like surprises do not block the best thing okay (laughs) don't block i don't i don't like surprises you gotta give me a hint (laughs) understand do you plan to be asking you plan to do the asking D- depends on the relationship i'm in yeah oh my gosh my pen fell <laughs> dead ass pen just fell out of nowhere wow um but <laughs> okay. no, I feel you. i'm just wondering i'm like how the hell is somebody gonna ask you to marry them then psycho Oh, just you know i'm weird about surprises i just i get anxiety it's a control thing it's a control thing i have realized over the years of analyzing myself that it's literally a control thing my anxiety and all of that surrounding like not knowing shit it's control well, yeah, I, know I just you have control problems you ain't got to tell me yeah that. i, know I just that. the but people I, them just in case get married, right, don't friend? i do gotta check in because i every do day. Yeah, no. you do. Okay. <laughs> that was real cute. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you want to get married. So you you and the person's going to have to propose or you're going to have to propose like you said. Yeah. Like, you know. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not she's proposing. Surpri- she's not with the surprises. I just, uh, it's going to have to be like a real good surprise. Like if you're going to do like an engagement type of surprise for me. Like, don't Listen be doing this. no weird Listen shit and make it obvious Listen that you're planning this. something. Listen make it, like, shit. don't mm, do that shit during your work hours. Listen don't be, like, so. changing your habits out the blue. Like and, like, no. Don't do this and don't do that Mm-mm. and don't do that, even though that's the Mm-mm. way I want to do something. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Look at you. I'm going to be sweating. Tiss, tiss. <laughs> no. I'm going to be freaked out. Hopefully, by the time I meet someone that, you know, marriage becomes a thing for, I've grown out of this hopefully because yeah. i just be like i don't be trusting people like what yeah. you doing why are you being sneaky giving mm-hmm. very much you know no what you doing no don't like that <laughs> don't like that yeah giving very much, don't like that i'm like okay. why are you moving funny <laughs> yeah you you very much why are you being weird to me stop it yeah why are you being weird to me <laughs> please stop cut it out, bro. Cut it out. okay no that girl was wilding but that's another story um but yeah so Mm. Mm. not for the flexing if we're planning sure but not for the flexing um on the subject of that um i've been seeing you know i don't know if they pop up on your timeline but there's like this instagram profile (laughs) there's this instagram profile that um i think it's called like conversation starter or conversations or something like that but no 
Okay. It's a bunch of like quote unquote thought provoking conversations or whatever the case is. It's just thought usually like or thought provoking. I said thought provoking. No, I'm not quote unquote. Saying, I'm just I don't know what I heard. I was like thought provoking. <laughs> no, not thought provoking. I don't think I don't know if anything provokes the thoughts. <laughs> but <laughs> but one of the conversations that popped up on my timeline was about like giving exes like a second chance. Oh shit. And. I saw it literally, I think it was like the day or two after we recorded last week. And I was like, oh, put that in the notes because some very valid points were made. Um, And just a question. I just want to clarify. Mm-hmm. So second chance as in we're in a relationship so I'm give, and you broke my heart a little bit mm-hmm. and I'm giving you another chance in a relationship or you're giving mm-hmm. them another chance in general in life to even be in your presence. Like, what, what Well, see, that's what, what's what you in this pen? <laughs> that's what the conversation was actually including because it's talking about giving another person a chance at a relationship mm-hmm. okay where and one of the people that were talking said you know you're not just gonna give second chances just because it's a different day you have to actually see a change in the person right before you give them a second chance i'm giving a second chance to somebody that has grown over a period of time not just mm-hmm. We broke up today and, you know, this weekend I miss you. So I guess you changed because you told me all these nice things. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, oh, because it, it brought me back mm-hmm. to um the people that baby father mm-hmm. and how they legit were on something like, oh, we should just get back together. We should be getting married. Like, what? Can I get to know you all over again? Like, granted, we had time in between that we weren't together it wasn't like a yesterday this happened and next week we're back together type of thing Mm -hmm. but we reconnected after a few years and I was like I need to know like what has changed like are you still the same person I broke up with like if nothing has changed what am I giving a chance to like we didn't end on great terms what what am I going back to you know what I'm saying funny you say it like that too because it's like most people are just like okay well something happened I'm upset all right cool I'm gonna give you a second chance let's see but mm-hmm. you're really supposed to see if the person changed, then get the second chance. Okay, so suppose it takes you like three to six months to see that this person has changed. What are you going to do in between that three to six months? I mean, you can be in communication. Like, it could be like, I guess, start you're dating all over again. The same home. Then what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Then what? See? You went that's a whole other. That's a whole you deciding a, in that moment to give that person a chance, so you guys mm-hmm. can move on. Because it's kind of hard to in a situation like that to be like, okay, I'm gonna wait. I mean, you can instill boundaries in things in situations like that, and I think that's a lot of the um, times an issue that a lot of us have is like setting boundaries and actually sticking to them. Because mm-hmm. a lot of times we, well, myself, I'm not gonna talk about other people. Me personally, even though I'm an asshole, that some people are like, oh my god, you're a dickhead. Okay, yeah, but. A lot of times, if I'm, like, romantically involved with someone, I have a hard time, like, bringing up issues because I don't want to hurt their feelings, Mm -hmm. right? So that's an issue on my part as far as communication goes, where it's like, I don't want to tell you that, listen, you need to go bathe. (laughs) Well, no, I'm telling you that, because if you smell bad, I'm telling you. I'm sorry. But, like, you know, like, little shit. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, but, like, little shit, like, something that might be minuscule, but, like, I know it could be a problem, but it's like, let me just wait and see what's mm-hmm. going to happen. And then it's like, okay, so this is a thing for you. And it's like, shit, how do I approach this conversation in a manner that like doesn't come off really abrasive? Because you shout out to my daddy. Fresh. Very huh? much you need, very much you need <laughs> fresh. Yes. Very much. But <laughs> that was a joke. But I'm just saying like other things like. I'm very harsh when it comes to certain things. Like sometimes I talk and it's like, it comes out very like rough and I be trying to be softer to people. Like, I be trying to be like, hmm, how do I say this in a nice way? Because instantly, I'm like, yo, guanga beard, you smell bad, your arm green. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, ooh, bitch, you ain't have to say it like that. (laughs) Well, because niggas need to work on their delivery. But that's also a part of the culture, the this and the that. Mm -hmm. It's just how we are. We're a little bit rougher with shit. And we need to learn how to say things a little better, but I'm sorry. But if it's coming down to like funk and you're my person, <laughs> like, no, I'm going to tell you that you need to go wash your ass because you need to wash your ass. Yeah. You're not a little game. sad. I'm mean, smell like smelly old goat, but exactly. Yeah. So I said, like, 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 you smell like roses <laughs> and all this type of shit. No, you pink. 
<laughs> no, no. Yeah, for real. But like something simple, like not even just like, like let's say there's an issue with intimacy. Like, you know, the things that people be like, ooh, about. Like, I be talking about sex all the time on this podcast and in general or whatever. And sometimes I have an issue bringing that up with people because it's like, I don't feel like I should have to talk about sex with the person I'm having sex with. I don't feel like I should have to talk about things that I'm not okay. What you mean though? What you mean though? if we're not having sex enough or if you're not affectionate, like for some reason the affection has dwindled because my thing when it comes to that is, is there a root problem? Like why okay. all of a sudden we not doing this? Why haven't we had this conversation is really where the issue comes in. Cause mm-hmm. it's like, we started out two, three, four months, a year in, and we've like rabbits all the time that all of a sudden, maybe once every two months, you might want to give me some. And it's like, mm, is something happening? What happened? Like, and then me being me, I'm starting to overthink everything. I'm like, wait, did something happen at work the other day? Didn't it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I usually like, because I feel like for me, people be like, oh, sex isn't that important. Like, for me, it's important. Like, I feel like if I'm having sex with someone, I should be like fully pleased in this involvement. It shouldn't be something where I'm like, you know, oh, they do that good. And mm, I don't I don't really like that or that's not happening enough or X, Y, Z. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, there's some people who will be okay with that because they don't have like, yes and no. (laughs) Yes. And where's the no, where's the no, no, because you're going to have to talk about these things because there's going to be things that you liked at one point that you may not like in the next few years, next couple months, it might need to step up. You might want less, you might want more, but it's a thing. People change. Yeah, certain, you're talking certain, about certain feeling changes. Maybe that doesn't feel like it once did, and you need something mm-hmm. different. You feel me? Like those conversations, they're gonna happen. They need to happen. Yeah, but I'm talking about in a sense of like shortcomings, quote unquote. Not like necessarily, oh, you just don't do you that. You've never done it. Though. You gotta talk about the shortcomings. I know, but I be feeling like I don't want to hurt people's feelings, and that's oh, my hell. issue. Oh my that's my you're issue. Hell. Like you I, have to I talk know about the shortcomings. Yes, it's uncomfortable. It can be uncomfortable, but you need to talk about the shortcomings before they become really, 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 really big things. Mm-hmm. But that's my issue. That's all I'm saying. I, I, I have acknowledged that issue. I am working on it. I'll be like tiptoeing in and out of conversations like that because it's like, what are we really doing here? But it all comes back down to like communication though. And I'd be the first person to be like, listen, I'd be uncomfortable and you're going to know like for sure, for sure. It's not even something that you're going to be like, oh, everything's great. No, you're going to know if I'm uncomfortable, if something has shifted with me, especially if we're tuned in, like you're going to feel the shift before I even say something half the time. Like, cause more than likely I'm sitting here like, how am I going to say this? Like, mm-hmm. but also I'd be quicker to send you a text or write you a letter. Like this is what's going on. Cause actually saying it, I'd be like, fuck, that sounds mean. <laughs> but that's just know, you sound like hell. I don't know. You sound, I sound like <laughs> you sound like hell for an I don't that's why I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Listen, I can't wait till we start doing video because you just be over my life and it's okay. You happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, indeed. I had no tequila. I'm sad. There's going to be things you have to talk about. It's going to be uncomfortable. I mean, I've been there in my own relationships where it's been uncomfortable ass things like Mm -hmm. you don't want to hear or you don't want to talk about. However, they are necessary and they they have to happen. You got to grow up one day. Yeah, one of these days. But I think, honestly speaking, a lot of it has to do with like, I think I've mentioned it before, like looking at the person you're with not necessarily as like this has to work out but more so like where i'm at specifically like i've stopped looking at shit like you know that's the one because you know how many done husbands and wives i done had over the last year like (laughs) the difference is do i tell you you're the one and do i actually believe it or am i just telling you no, see, I'm telling Twitter that. I'm not telling these people that. That's oh, weird. okay. That's <laughs> the fuck? Okay, like, is Hell it really no. the like, girl one, or is that my just yeah. you, like, oh, yeah, baby, you know. No, absolutely you not. You are my shining star. <laughs> Don't you believe My me. guided light. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love you, baby. <laughs> like, I'm lying. I'm completely lying. But you, know, you are 
Yeah, Listen. you know what I'm saying? Hearts, I love you forever, writing all that mm-hmm. shit. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that. But, um, <laughs> whoa, me have something to tell you about that. But, <laughs> I'm stressed out, you know? Stressed that out, bad, bad. Really funny. <laughs> Yeah. Stress out, bad, bad, bad. I bet you are. Yeah, poor life, and I'm a left breast. I bet. But, <laughs> but you're right. I'm wrong. It's okay. <laughs> eh. It happens. I don't know. <laughs> it, happens. it happens. It happens. <laughs> you know. Don't feel bad. Friggin' Leo. <laughs> Feel the fucking it, shoulder though. shrugging everything. Yeah, we're all wrong at some point. Yeah, this is the Virgo <laughs> putting the ice on. Is that what Virgos do? Huh? Is that what Virgos do? They be putting ice in on it? Oh dear, Virgos are like. <clears throat> so I don't know. I love you, love Virgos. People, you know, I love Virgos low key. Like I, I feel like as well, this is wow, my thing. They are definitely plenty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've I've never. I almost lied. So I feel like all my Virgo friends like make me feel like like a baby. You know how people be caring about babies and shit because they just helpless and can't do nothing for themselves. That's how I feel. Not retarded. Oh my gosh, thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Dirty bitch. Take that back. Y'all know what I mean. Y'all know. (laughs) They gonna cancel me. Nah, 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 nah. nah. (laughs) We just talked about this last week. Oh, listen, I, listen, y'all don't don't cancel me. I don't mean it like that. It's That's just, not what we were saying. Babies do be special. They, they need you. They need you to help yes. them because they're not able of doing things on their own. Mm-hmm. Oh, but yeah, that's how like my va- my Virgo friends make me feel like they just like care for me, just like put me a nice little blanket and swaddled me. You know. Yes, they're very no, they're great. They're definitely yeah. great. I but, love Virgos. You know. It you know sometimes I don't know if I could date a Virgo, but you know sometimes friends they're, they're great. Very, like, woo, sometimes it's like wow, like you yeah. need to chill the fuck out <laughs> <laughs> yeah. for real. That's what yeah. it is. I think they just mean to do because they're so much. They're like structure mm-hmm. in their mind, so they kind of sometimes it's like okay, but you're trying to micromanage me, and I need to manage your like manage yourself. Oh so, yes, like yes. Just a little bit. Like you yes. need to leave me alone. Okay, you are and I need you to do that. But my father's right a Virgo, and Come I'm the Virgos. You know, my daughter's yeah. a Virgo. But, you know, <laughs> you know, it's yeah. all about her though. You know. Uh, yeah <clears throat> I, I work with some virgos and i can tell that they are virgos because like their attention to detail i just be like okay listen, relax now nah. like listen, just ease a little you, bit and make you feel like you crazy as hell because you can't see it what please. like am i blind did i please. like or are you just different as hell please mm-hmm. like just ease a little bit please <laughs> they good to have around like they good. they be yeah quick on the draw motivating boy. and shit you know they yeah, be there until it's uplifting just like, you until you back the hell up off me <laughs> it's like wait a minute slow down oh my gosh zilla is a virgo and when okay. i tell you this nigga like when i was in college he was like so what's up photography what's up what's up what's up fuck this shit like he would just be like because you know i used to work 15 11 teen jobs or whatever I so <laughs> for real for real and he would be like because I was always like, I'm paying these bills. I'm doing this. And he's like, you don't work to pay bills. Enjoy this fucking money. Like, nigga, you work all these damn jobs. Go have some fun. Listen, I don't know why he told me that. <laughs> Flight it stop so book. Good. It sounds good as hell. Yeah. Yeah. Some c- Working day. smart, some not come. hard. Some come. Yeah. The money I really need. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'd like to talk about you and these hoochie daddy shorts you had on over the weekend. Wait because- a minute. Yes, it's on yes. my list because this picture no. you sent me, I was like, <laughs> "What's your list say? Cat? Co- what does it say? Twin? Hoochie daddy? <laughs> Listen, like, it definitely it says hoochie daddy shorts twin. That's exactly what it says. What do you want to talk about? These thighs? Oh yes, my. the what thighs. Talk about? Them you thighs. Talk about? Chocolate, honey. Listen, <laughs> you can't get this at the store. You can't get this. This is. One of one, baby. <laughs> Premium. <laughs> okay, thick. You feel me? <laughs> Woo. Niggas. Don't Listen, I'm know. I'm here for the Hoochie Daddy shorts, okay? It is hot already. It's officially yeah, summer. Yeah. And, real you know. 30, son. Don't <laughs> I was like, look at my, Listen, my I'm about to, to have a seat. Listen, you know. uh, Mr. 
I know some people, oh man, I watch that, you know? But say, no, no. <laughs> Fuck them out <laughs> and grease up well nice. But okay, say, you yes. see that? Because I'm playing. Don't do the ash round here. We don't do that. <laughs> say, yes, go on through, my brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I was feeling but, rather... Yes. <laughs> rather Hoochie chocolatey daddy-ish. I ain't gonna lie my legs is out and I like my my legs are nice hello okay no and, homo yes they are okay <laughs> but a short stack you know what I'm saying <laughs> and yeah looking like a tall time. nigga in a picture and shit let me you I'm about to show me? people your picture but stupid. listen, it's that kind of summer because it's definitely real, real, real hot out. So I need like flavors. Yes. I need hoochie daddies and all flavors, cut design, everything. Mm-hmm. I need all I'm here for it. Listen, oh, speaking of, I've been wondering because <laughs> I told you there's this gay girl at my job. Oh, who has my same name? She was trolling niggas like at lunch the other day. And <laughs> she was just asking as soon as they were walking. She's like, are you wearing hoochie daddy shorts this summer? No, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> some of them were like hell yeah some of them were being funny talking about some if you want to see a little meat hang out i'm like first of all they're not that short and i know your that, dick ain't that big shut she up asking you something ha ha he he and you gotta come bring your meat who they asked talking about some about nuts hanging meat. out the side so her being gay she was like well you can ask some gay boys how to tuck and i was like bitch i know that's right okay, <laughs> stop playing with me i didn't ask you nothing about what you're real out. she was that's like right. i'm not worried about no balls like get out of here like whatever but somebody else was like nah i'm too old for that and i was it just made me think of remember them dykes to wear shorts the short shorts because they wear them below the knees all mine i'm sorry so okay go ahead can i I ask me i don't really know them species yeah but no it made me think of the the ignorance in the statement made me think of remember we went to sweet heat that time and them dykes were by the stage yes the old dykes and what, i wonder when call nike dikes yes i wonder are the nike dikes like are they participating in hoochie daddy shorts i really want to know or do they have you that know they like, not hoochie daddy shorts either anything like men be saying that's what they be on too oh my god yeah. their toxic they masculinity younger, is you know they be like oh that's what you, you know we well, they're, gonna, they're gonna call us fems we all yes. go fems because we got y'all gonna be nah so we got y'all, gonna, y'all gonna be faggots and bitches <laughs> It's crazy to me. You know how they be. I like what? We're, we all They're have vaginas. Rough. What? What do you mean? Nah, like, nah. We too soft. Yeah, I, I guess, child. Y'all too hard. Like, yeah, just go big get ass jean shorts. Girl. Oh, Come on. them shits all them oversized shits shirts and like, shit. <laughs> for real. For real. Like what year? Oh are my we god. In? They still out here being touch me not studs and shit. <laughs> Not a touch me not. Mm. Nah, because that's gay. You getting your pussy ate? That's gay. That's some gay shit. Mm-mm. Nah. That's what it's made for. All they do is... <laughs> Don't play. All, <laughs> they, all they doing is strapping. <laughs> I mean, like, I get... But my thing is, I guess if that's your flavor, right? Mm-hmm. And if you with a type of woman that only wants to be strapped, then you don't... <laughs> so <Hello>? I said <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And... Like, yeah. Wait. Yeah, <clears throat> it yeah. all depends on who you with once again, and you gotta have that communication to know mm-hmm. if you just want to strap and she just like being strapped. Then hey, like y'all have a ball. Shout out to y'all. But Shout I just hope that one day you might want your little coochie sniffed. <laughs> that it's okay and it's not gonna not- cause like World War Three and y'all shit. Like, oh my goodness, could you imagine? <laughs> like, I'm that's sure. Wild. I, you can you imagine how many times like a femme has tried to like maybe please a masculine presenting woman and it's been like hey stop playing with me like don't touch me like that i don't like that shit like that <laughs> yeah you're making her feel soft <laughs> i don't know then again you got to respect people's boundaries because you don't know what yes. people been through and all that true type of stuff. very so, true it's all you, back to communication know who you having sex with period mm-hmm. yes if I don't like this, then don't be trying to force me to like this. If I don't do this, then... Yeah. And then there's some people you get with, and then your mind opens up, and you decide to try new things. Very right? true. Very true. But that's also why, you know, me and my BDSM quiz, like, I be sending that shit out the gate. Like, what are we getting into? Are you open to X, Y, Z? Because... Sick, my nigga, so. I- <laughs> I am appalled. Listen. How dare you? I'm going to be like, here you go. Good morning, BDSM quiz. Excuse me. 
<laughs> not like, on the good morning just you like know? what like over the orange juice i start uh, i start realizing some frisky conversations is coming and you trying to you know hint and throw me parts of your body i, I just need to know like see, what can i do with these see, that's parts where it is. yes see your your conversations and my conversations be going a little different because you in a whole relationship yeah, do not creep up in my damn text messaging talking about your ass, talking about what you like to suck on, talking about what uh-huh. none of that. How about we get to know each other? Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I no, no, I am listen, no shade, no shade to my friend, but I'm a classy. I'm a little conservative with certain things. Like don't what the fuck? Like can I find I'm out cla- about you? I'm clatchet. That's your business, you know. <laughs> I need to find out about you first before I want to decide if I want your pussy in my mouth. Like I, well, I just no, think, I just, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not I'm not saying <laughs> you just a whore, but I'm not just a whore. I like, talk about me. Listen, I talk about me. I talk about you. I'm talking about me. I just know certain conversations we don't need to have just yet. I don't know who you are. I feel. And, you. You know, I think I be having have... unhealthy boundaries and shit. And I be talking to people like all day, all night, all day, all night. So like by no. week two, it's like, no, nope, because I'm going to sleep. And <laughs> no, we're falling asleep on FaceTime. What do you mean? Not every damn night. Get the no, fuck not, every night. No, not every night. Not every night. Easy to not doing that. I don't No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> because to me, my grandma always taught me too much of one something is not good okay moderation in right all things. yes so i like moderation we don't need to overdo it and out and just kill it and then something just bun out like when it's that. time come we just kill it and then our flame oh it's burning oh yes it's lit and then all of a sudden it starts to dwindle down why because there's no look mm. there's no hey I'm, I'm gonna come back and see you later no it's always there in your face it loses its value it kind of just no it's just like oh it's always here anyway nope oh no see, you that's gonna where wait, people you're be gonna fucking miss up. me and you're gonna wait to see me Okay. That's where people be fucking. We're going up. to the, miss oh. each other. I, it's nice mm-hmm. to miss each other. We don't have to talk all day. I know that when you, you when you first get to know somebody, you text and da 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 da, little bit of thing. But then also you have your time where you're like, okay, let me chill. We ain't got to be on that all the time. Yes, we're gonna be sick of each other in like three weeks. The fuck? No, I yeah. no, no. You you said a word in there about no. the um. Oh, you're there anyways. Who y'all be fucking up with that one? They're there anyway, so the effort and things just gone out the window. So <laughs> imagine that we take people for granted. I'm poppy sure. I'm gonna go on. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. But nope. yeah, nah. So yeah, I just want to say I need to see y'all in y'all hoochie daddy shorts <laughs> this summer. <laughs> I said all of that to say it's hot. I want to see you in your hoochie daddy <laughs> <Yeah>. shorts. <laughs> what? Make sure y'all put on lotion. Who you want to see in your hoochie daddy shorts? Men, everybody, women, who are you trying to the say? masculine presenting woman included? Hold everybody. on, no, 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 no. In the name of Pride Month, let me say what the hell I'm saying. Ooh. So, I saw that pointless. I don't know if it was you, maybe somebody. Oh, had Jesus, Twitter, right? And they were oh, like, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gay now, blah, 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 blah. whatever. <laughs> um, so was that you or were you hacked? Yeah. I was not hacked, but I tweet a bunch of stuff. So, why are you singling that out? Why are you being like this? Because hmm. that's what I said. I said what I said. And that's what it's going to be. What? <laughs> yes. Like, yes, I, what I, I did. So I definitely out? tweeted that I'm gay. Mm-hmm. Great. Mm-hmm. For the summer or what's going on? <laughs> we'll see. Okay. I'm just, listen, you know I, I like to know. You know what I'm saying? What's up? What's up with it? Okay. Mm. Somebody, um, funny you say that, because somebody also, you know the little Instagram anonymous shit that be popping yes, up I've on the seen stories? What you, what you people have been doing lately. Mm-hmm. Bro, I finally decided to go do it. And of course, everybody want to know about what's going on with my crutches. Yo. Wow. <sighs> I saw my pum pum hat. Calm you down. Don't, listen, you, no, ch- listen, you, you, your life is My festive. thing is, though. Your life festive My thing is, though, I don't like yeah, nobody that's yeah, shy like that. Yeah, this nigga not going to say nothing. Your life festive. Yeah, bitch, <laughs> yeah, bitch it is. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. You ain't shit. I be ignoring. <laughs> like, fuck. You are not shit, my nigga. Like. <laughs> You're supposed to be my best friend. <laughs> and? Anyways, mm-hmm. you need, y'all need friends like like twin because she's gonna tell you the truth. But yeah. Um, yeah, some things are happening, you know. Not paying half of those things any mind, but 
you know, I try to push on go through and things. But no, one of the questions was like, if I'm bi or if I'm gay. Oh. I don't. And I was like, I'm a lesbian. Bye, guys. Um, this is not me coming out. Don't pay me no mind, okay? I'm talking. That's all I really want to know. I was just curious. If that's I'm talking. Cool. I'm not confirming or denying. I'm just talking. Okay. That's all we're leaving it at. I know some people on one side of the fence are rooting for a, a specific outcome. <laughs> yeah, certain people are. You know. Enough people. Apparently, y'all was in the comments on that shit. Wow. I was like, mm. <laughs> I saw mm. no feel about it. Mm-mm. People Poor like, enough me. Of enough of your bullshit. Yeah, enough so, of my bullshit for real. But we shall see. Some are just mm. that. When today? Some are, today? Yeah. Today. Yeah. My birthday is in a month when this episode drops. So you know, woo woo. It is indeed. Mm-hmm. As excited. I don't know what I'm excited for. I'm just excited. I'm always no, excited for my birthday. I ain't got no plans. Um, originally my I work meeting. You know. Was supposed to be you annoying. Was supposed to be <laughs> for the Saturday, <laughs> the Saturday after my birthday, but they moved it, so I got a free weekend. As far as I know, is that when I'm gonna be up top? That's why I was asking you. So I was like, boom, I don't know boom, when you. Boom, boom, eh, eh, but no, I think eh. you said you're going the week before. Yes, I yeah, we're gonna be up there the week before. I'm so excited. Moanga, Puerto you Rico. Know I love up north in the summertime. I know you won. Yes. My friend was talking family, about was, uh, all the, ba- the babies. <clears throat> the babies that ain't babies no more. All of that. And see what mm-hmm. other foolishness me and the lady get into. <laughs> Ow. You know we like a little foolishness every now and again. Mm-hmm. Yes, oh, ma'am. Lord. But you don't know what you're doing for your birthday? No? No. As of right now, I do not know. Oh. Well. I'm going to the people that work. And sounds whatever happens after that, <laughs> so whatever good. happens after that happens after that, you know. <laughs> I guess. Yep. You definitely let me know. Um, I, you know, doing, you would be probably the first person to be notified. Yeah, I'll if see anything the day comes up. Day after something of a sort. Well, my birthday is on a Friday, so probably after, okay. So the day after, after probably yeah, way after. Got it. Okay. Big up yourself. I might drive down and come hang out with y'all. Who knows? You know, that's a whole month away. That's you know, like things happen, things like, change. I like, like, <laughs> I must look like a fucking idiot. Like, yo, well, but no, I'm not. I, mean, I just you asked anyway, me for listen. Uh, find something. Well, what you want to do? You want to go eat? Clot, y'all just what happened? Sorry. If I want to go eat, you know, I love me some food. Okay, right. Okay, so okay, so think of something. I don't know, something of the sort. We here planning my birthday on these people podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay, we shall see. Definitely, but yeah. Let me see if nothing else up on the list, yeah. Oh Lord, not the list. You know, Michael Pisa list where I have like three, four. I do know it. your little list. No, that's yeah. Annie is good, girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's everything. Like, let me tell y'all, she really got this list, right? I got a whole notes app, okay, with things. How <laughs> cute! Because otherwise, I'm gonna come here and talk to y'all about these dried roses that's sitting on my thing that I need to make rose water out of. Make a what? And be burning herbs. Yeah, you continue and... to read from your list. Never mind. Yeah, I'm gonna start cause teaching cause... y'all. I'm gonna start teaching y'all about crystals and tarot cards don't and leave, and what to burn. Don't you leave that list ever again, you know? <laughs> and yeah. and letting spirits into your home and things. You As know? I said, oh my gosh, <laughs> yo, in Jesus' name, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just look at things in a room and just be like, oh, aprons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, listen, quick, friend, it was nice and everything. <laughs> Listen. oh my goodness all right so um be safe i don't know hell it's always be safe. be safe drink water we have officially kicked off summer yes so officially be safe drink water and mind your business listen if the heat wasn't whooping your ass before 
Mm-hmm. It's probably going to start. <laughs> no, that part, <laughs> because, that part. whoa. Um, yeah, stay hydrated, you know, mm-hmm. and make sure. Stay out of trouble. Oh, yes, that. Stay out of trouble, please, people, because them the front and full lock we up on get rid of it, et cetera. A so bunch, and there's a whole bunch of shit going on, y'all. Stay ready mm-hmm. so you don't have to get ready, if you know what I mean. That part. Um, um <laughs> We both for about um. Um, both of us like um. Yeah, just stay ready <laughs> in all the ways that y'all think I mean. Exactly. Be mindful of your interactions and such. So mm-hmm. yes. Um, right. but yeah, so make sure y'all check us out on all the social media platforms. Um, check us out on all the streaming platforms. Subscribe mm-hmm. to the YouTube, por favor. Turn on the post notifications, watch the unboxings on moldings, listen to the podcast episodes, etc. Um, and yeah, just like every other week, everything else we do over here at Pointless Talks, whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you so much for listening to this episode of Pointless Talks. Bye. Bye bye. Night. <laughs>